Hi guys, so in this video, we will learn how to add authentication to a React app using AWS Amplify. So here I've just created a basic React app using this command. I will and I've opened it here uh, in the VS code and I have just uh, entered npm start so that it compiles and runs it on the default port 3000. Okay, so like you can see, so uh, I will I'll just head over to the uh, AWS Amplify Authenticator documentation. I'll paste this link okay, in the below section so that you guys can access it. So here if we see there are two variations. One is the Authenticator and one using the Authenticator tag and the other one is using with Authenticator. I prefer this one. So I'll just copy paste this code. And I will copy paste it here. Okay, so here, like it requires these two dependencies, so I will install them. I'll open a new terminal. By the time that this is getting installed, uh, we will just head over to the uh, AWS console and we will create our user pool. I was creating earlier for this video, so I already have it, but let's create it. Okay, so I'll click on manage user pools and then I will click on so I'll select step through settings and pretty much I'll keep everything before I'll just uncheck this because I don't want to enter the email if you want to we'll keep it okay I'll select link yeah so we create our user pool here then I will click on app client settings okay let's just see that if yeah so this is installed so by the time we create app client I'll try to install this one as well so that we are all good to go So we'll head back to the AWS console. By the time it gets installed, we'll create our, we'll add an app client. Okay, here don't forget to uncheck this generate client secret and then click on create. So now uh, we have our user pool ready and our app client ready. So we'll head back to the code. Okay, great. So this is also being done. So now if we see the code, so we have installed uh, imported Amplify from AWS Amplify and Authenticator from uh, AWS Amplify UI React. So this has the configure method. Here we need to provide a configuration to map our user pool ID and our app client ID. So we'll quickly create a file. I will call it as configuration objects. So I'll copy the name of the variable use here. Let's say user. Okay. User pool ID. Um, user pool client. Okay, now we will go to the AWS console and we grab this. This is the user pool ID. And if we go to our client settings, we will get the app client ID. 
now we need to export this and now we need to import it here so import it from okay so we have pretty much set with everything now we will just head back and see what it is okay so yeah one more thing just to show you guys that how this user and sign out looks like after the authentication is done we'll just console log it I'll just open the debugger tools. So here, first time you can you know create an account. Okay. So I since I'll uncheck the email because my requirement was that the admin would uh, you know create the uh, user from the back end so i'll just head over here and i will just confirm it from the aws console so now if you come here and refresh it then you can use that the user which we just created okay so yes we are in so now if you see this is a user and inside the storage if you see we have the access token id token so if you want to authorize each and every api you can pass this in the header uh, under authorization to each and every api which will be validated on the back end and this is a sign out function so if you click on sign out here this function will be used to sign us out uh and if you have if you want to customize this there are multiple options here for doing that so for example i had a requirement where i did not want this create account or the sign up page so for that what you can do is you know you can just use this hide sign up property and uh set it to true so now here if you see you won't see that sign up option similarly there are many many things that you can do there are two different variations also so this is the modal one which will give you a grayed out background and a modal kind of a view for the sign uh yeah so and you can customize the header footer and everything like you can uh, add a logo of your company here you can change this title and pretty much everything so yeah this is it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did uh like it share it and subscribe to my channel thank you